بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Hassan Yahya, lecturer, Department of Islamic Studies, Milestone College, Uttara Dhaka. Welcome to all Islam and Moral Education class. My dear students, I think all of you are very fine at your home. And today we'll, uh, we're going to discuss. My, my dear students, today we'll discuss on chapter 4, lesson 3. Chapter 4, lesson 3. And uh, today we'll discuss on keeping promise. Keeping a promise this is very important to listen uh, because we are Muslims, and if we uh, if we don't uh, uh, keep our promise, then we are uh, we will not be a, a successful in uh, moving. So according to Quran and according to Hadith, what Allah uh, what is the instruction of Almighty Allah? What is the instruction of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu uh, Alaihi We're going to know uh, from this chapter. My dear friends, keeping a promise. Keeping promise. A wada is called al ahdu in Arabic. Wada is called al ahdu in Arabic. Al ahdu literally means promise, undertaking, praise, agreement to give word to someone or to commit oneself for something, etc. Again, I'm telling wada is called al ahdu in Arabic. Al ahdu literally means promise, undertaking, praise, agreement to give word to someone or to commit oneself for something, etc. My dear students, in the Islamic terminology, wada means to fulfill properly a promise or place already agreed upon. In the Islamic terminology, wada means to fulfill properly a promise or place already agreed upon. That means what actually you uh, told uh, someone and you agreed on a settlement, on a duty, it can be anything and that is the actually wada. And you know, uh, if you uh, tell your father, if you tell your uh, form teacher, if you tell your teacher that from now on I will not miss any class and this is my wada, this is my agreement and sometimes you uh, have to write in a statement and that is a wada, you, you know, I think that my dear students. So, wada is very important. Uh, for a Muslim, for for us, my dear students, so that is called Aladu in Arabic. Everybody, I have to underline those you can uh, see the give the color. Please underline in your book, my dear students. It is very important. The Wada, Wada is called Aladu and keeping promise. Uh, Aladu literally means promise, undertaking, pledge, agreement to give word to someone or to commit oneself for something, etc. And in the Islamic terminology, Wada means to fulfill properly a promise or praise already agreed upon. Okay, my dear students, I think you have understood the introduction of keeping promise. That means what is the meaning of uh, Wada or Al Ahdu and what is Arabic. Okay, now uh, their importance of keeping promise. Importance of keeping promise. There are uh, four sub points, my dear students. Number one, order of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, will be asked. And number three, quality of a mumin. Number four, breaking promise, sign of munafik. There are four points of importance of uh, keeping promise, importance of wada. Everybody, uh, uh, you can take a screenshot or you can write. Wada of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wada of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be asked in uh, uh, at the judgment day. And quality of a mumin. Keeping promise is a quality of a mumin. And the last point, that means fourth point is that breaking promise sign of Munafik. Breaking promise sign of Munafik. Have you understood my dear students? Everybody, uh, you can take a screenshot or you can uh, write, uh, write my dear students. Okay, number one, order of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Order of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can uh, say picture, that means there is a law uh, sign or there is also a holy Quran. This is the holy Quran is the constitution of the for the Muslim Ummah, and there is another symbol. So, I, uh, I, I wanted to uh, make you realize that uh, this is the sign of order of Almighty Allah. Order of Almighty Allah, you know, my dear student, keeping promise and all of the virtues of Akhlaki Hamida. Everybody, we know that, and its importance and, and, and usefulness is the human life is immense. Keeping words helps maintain 
peace and order in the society. Everybody likes and who keeps his words. Everybody uh, uh, repose confidence and reliance on him. I, you know, uh, those students and those people and uh, they keep always his promise that Edward likes him very much. He enjoys honor and dignity in society. And you know, according to the Islamic philosophy of life, it's essential to keep promise. And you know, Allah SWT said in the Holy Quran, Yeah, Allah SWT said, Surah al maida Ayat 1. Ayat number 1. We Surah, Surah al maida Ayat number 1. Yeah, Oh, you who believe, you keep your promise. You keep your promise. You keep your promise. Oh, you who believe, you keep your promise, my dear students. Surah al maida Ayat 1. Surah al maida Ayat 1. In another Ayat, Allah SWT says, You keep up your promise, surely you will be held accountable for your promise. Surah Bani Israel, Ayat 34. Surah Bani Israel, Ayat 34. That means we have to, we have to understand that things, and this is the order of Almighty Allah. And if we don't uh, keep our promise, then Allah SWT will give us punishment. And if we keep our uh, promise, then Allah SWT will, will uh, uh, give us reward. So we can understand easily that anyhow we have to keep our promise always. Okay, then we'll be asked in, at, the, uh, at the judgment day. And everybody will be asked about uh, his duty, especially the um, keeping a uh, pro promise, my dear students. You know, the to fulfill promise is obligation. The fulfilled promise is obligation on the ground of hasher. That means the uh, grand final day. If, if, you know, if you get any tournament in the final day, everybody they are very exciting. And what will happen? So, and the, at the judgment day, when all people will gather. For the final judgment, there is the ground of hasher. Man shall to account for his pleas. And a person not keeping his promise on earth will be punished in Akhirat. On the ground of hasher, man shall have to account for his pleas. A person not keeping his promise on earth will be punished in Akhirat. And there is also another thing, my dear students. If we, uh, a person... Uh, always ke uh, keeping his promise on earth and will be uh, rewarded in Akhirat, my dear students. And not only Akhirat, uh, also uh, as well as in the here also. So anyhow, we should not break any promise with anyone. Okay, my dear students, we have completed the second point. The third point is that quality of a mumin. Keeping promise is a quality of a mumin. Keeping promise quality of a mumin. It is the token of a mumin to fulfill promises. It is the token of a mumin to fulfill promises. Man of honesty and moral accomplishment, well as honor his promise. A person who does not keep promises cannot be a perfect mumin, mandar. This is very important, my dear students. A person who does not keep Promise cannot be a perfect moment. That is even the Dawli professor says in the Hadith, La dina liman la ahdala. La dina liman la ahdala. A person not keeping his promise does not have deen. A person not keeping his promise does not have deen. This Hadith has been taken from Musnad Ahmad. This Hadith has been taken from Wis book. This Hadith has been taken from Musnad Ahmad. The Dawli prophet Moses some say, in the hadith, a person not keeping his promise does not have deen. This hadith has been taken Muslim. They will already underline this the reference and also and if you memorize the uh, hadith, Alhamdulillah, very good. If you do, if you can't memorize, then you must memorize the meaning of the hadith. My dear sir, our blog Prophet Muhammad always kept his promises. You know, a peep into the leaves in the Sahaba and Awliya convinced us that they never failed in fulfilling their promises for it is among the symptoms of a munafiq to break promise so our last point is that breaking promise sign of munafiq breaking promise sign of munafiq if you you know there are uh, three sign of uh, munafiq salasa uh, there are three symbol of munafiq when they, are, uh, they talk they lie when they keep uh, amanat they are in rest of 
that means they have no trust and the, uh, when they keep promise they break the promise so their uh, sign of munafi breaking promise is sign of munafi munafiq do not keep their promise munafiqs do not keep their promise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned muslims against breaking promise because the mark of muslim is that they go by their promise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about ya ayyuhal ladina amanu lima taquluna ma la tafa'lun oh you who believe why do you say that what you do not yourself do surah asaf ayat 2 surah asaf ayat 2 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Surah Asaf, Ayat 2. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, lima taquluna ma la tafa'loon. Oh, you who believe, why do you, why do you say that what you do not yourself do? That means what actually we are not interested to do, we should not tell anything. If you don't perform anything, then you should not uh, give advice any, any anyone. And you have to do, hey, you should do, hey, go there, do these things, do that things. No. At first, you have to do. We have to do, I have to do, then I can suggest anyone. So Allah SWT said, You, oh, you who believe, why do you say that what you do not yourselves do? That means you should not do anything that what actually you don't do. So, breaking promise is the symbol of munafiq. Breaking promise is the symbol of munafiq. Therefore, if someone gives word, it must be respected and promise it made must be maintained. A promise given and agreement signed must be fulfilled. Then only Allah the Most High will be pleased. Peace and success, peace and success will be attained both in this world and the next, my dear students. So, uh, from today's lesson, we understood about keeping promise. Keeping promise. There are four points. Order of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then will be asked about promise number three quality of a mumin and breaking promise sign of munafiq so my dear students i'd like to request all of you to give your attention to study and everybody and there are four points you have to um, you have to write the three uh, four points of uh, importance of keeping promise then you submit to your your homework group and if you have any question you can ask me here in whatsapp group or uh, comment box this channel and don't forget to write your name and code and section's name as your attendance and may Allah bless us all try to perform such regularly try to respect your teacher try to respect your uh, parents and follow all instructions from islamic sharia thank you so much and over today and uh, stay safe don't forget to pray always thank you so much allah hafiz Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.